Think about your daily morning. You wake up to the sound of an alarm and probably hit the snooze button a couple of times. It's not until the display shows you're late that you finally rush out of bed and into the cold bathroom floor. You flip a switch and BAM! The bright light hits your eyes. You take a warm shower and brush your teeth with an electric toothbrush. It's breakfast time. Put the bread in the toaster, press a button and anxiously wait for the toast to jump out. You touch a few other buttons and make delicious coffee. You get thirsty and you open the fridge. As the door opens, a light turns on and you're greeted with a chill. As you're eating and watching your favorite morning show, you're also catching up on your text. Think about how many interactions you have with the electric world before you even step foot outside. Alarms, lights, water heaters, electric toothbrushes, toasters, coffee makers, refrigerators, TVs, and phones are all just a few examples of circuits that you interact with every day. It is the circuit inside each and every one of those machines that makes your routine what it is. But a circuit doesn't have to be a complex computer or a rocket. In fact, a simple battery connected to a light bulb is a circuit. Any two or more components connected electrically create a circuit. There are two main categories that most electric components fall under. The first one is those elements that generate energy, such as the battery in our example. The second category consists of components that consume energy like the light bulb. There is a third category of components that don't generate or consume power, rather act as a storage unit. We'll talk about storage components later on. For now, let's keep it simple. There are two fundamental parameters to describe any circuit, voltage and current. No matter how big or small, every circuit is designed to satisfy a specific voltage and current. Also. Every circuit can be fully analyzed by identifying voltages and currents within all its parts.